Hey guys, I'm Pierre from Can-Am SpiderAccessories.com and welcome to my shop. Today's video, we're going to be installing one of these on one of these. A couple of things about the RT itch that fits actually on all RT models, where it's 210 all the way up to 2017. It's out easy and fast it is to install. We're talking minutes. We're talking like under five minutes to do the installation of the hitch itself. We were able to do something that uh, made it so you wouldn't have to take out the axle when doing the installation. With this uh, RT itch, what we try to do is stay away from the plain piece of metal. We try to give it a little bit of style and we took advantage of the uh, technology offered by the laser cutting. So we were able to put an RT logo and uh, that little wave that you see on the RT itch is actually uh, to mimic the outer edges of a spider web. Everything has been powder coated black Santec. It's like a, a black phantom textured kind of black. To do the installation, you're going to need a pair of long nose pliers. You're also going to need a three quarter inch key, three quarter inch socket, and a wrench as well. My Canon Spider that I'm using for this video uh, has had a, a hitch for the past five years on it. So there's a, a couple of things that are going to be missing on this that I'll just let you know about. Is that right here you're going to have a plastic cap that's just stuck on there that you can just pull away. And if you have a little bit of problem taking it out, you can just use a, a, a flat screwdriver and just take the plastic cap off. There's one on the other side as well. So just go ahead and remove those two plastic caps. If you can see where the screwdriver is touching right here, there's going to be a cutting pin right at that place. It might have been a long time gone. If you can go ahead and just straighten that out and pull on it on the long nose uh, wires with the long nose wires that you have and just pull away that cutter pin. For this part of the installation, you're just going to be uh, kneeling down at the back of this Canon Spider. As you can see, I just lifted mine off the ground about 8 to 10 inches with these uh, little platforms, little ramps that are used for cars. I just used one, backed her right up on there. I think I paid $35 for both of them. So that helps bring the Spider a little bit up and work. So you're actually just going to line her up on each side here. So on this side you can see, and as I'm pushing, I won't say it's a tight fit, but it fits right in there. And on the other side as well, all you need to do on this side is just be careful for the brake lines. Just push away a little bit of a brake line and that's going to go in as easy as that. It's now time to take that long provided bolt that we gave you and you just simply insert it here and just push it all the way in. When you, go, when you get towards the end, you may have to go on the other side and just push on it a little bit. Just wiggle it around so it fits nice and tight. As you can see here, right here where my finger is, the bolt has come through uh, very nicely. We're going to go ahead and put our uh, nut and we're going to put as well the lock washer. So we put in the lock washer first and then we put the nut. Now we're going to be using our ratchet and three quarter socket on one side and we're going to hold it down with the uh, three quarter key on the other side. Once I'm a little bit tight on this side, I'm going to start tightening on the other side just to make sure I have an equal pressure. All right, we're going to put this baby to the test. I come in at about 240, 250 pounds. They say not to put more than 50, uh, 50 pounds of weight on this baby in the back, but as you can see, all good. 
So that was an easy installation for you. I hope you enjoyed the video about the RT uh, itch for 2010 to 2017. Installs in just minutes and no need to take out the axle. So look us up online at canamspideraccessories.com. That's canamspideraccessories.com for all our products. My name is Pierre and you've been watching Spider TV.